Now, we will be learning more about uh, Paul's uh, ministry in the city of Caesarea. In the city of Caesarea, which is part of the Caesarean mission. Okay. Um, this information will give you quite a uh, uh, messages uh, that you should know and we will, you should learn out of these messages. First of all, I just lecture seven, I just call that Agrippa and Bernice in Caesarea. Okay, see the Agrippa, uh, Agrippa, just write down, uh, I'll give you information about it. Okay, Agrippa, he is a king out of Herod, King Herod family, King Herod. Okay, now the King Herod uh, was appointed by a Roman government uh, as a their uh, uh, their part of the territorial uh, leaders. Although uh, Herod was not a Roman background man, he has uh, the background right here in Esau, Esau, okay? Esau is a brother of James, uh, Jacob, okay? Esau. Uh, Bible calls the Esau, uh, also calls the Edo, Edom. And their descendant it calls Edomites, 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 okay? So it's, it's, it's a different uh, people. But uh, by the God's plan, that Herod, who who was an Edomite, okay, was appointed as a a key regional king, governing the Israel Israel uh, as a representative of emperor who. Caesar, okay, regional king. Now, before Jesus appears, that Herod, is a, I just give you the Herod's family, okay. First Herod, King Herod, the regional king governing the territory of Israel, we call the Herod the Great. Herod the Great. That's the first Herod, okay. And, and, this is the one that time they, when Jesus was born. The, he was appointed before the birth of Jesus, but the time of Jesus born was this Herod the Great. Okay? And his son, Herod Agrippa. But Bible said Agrippa, Agrippa. Okay? His son, but Bible said not Herod Agrippa, but sometimes Agrippa, sometimes Herod. See, this is his son. His son, his, his name is, he's appeared in Acts chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And the Herod, it's the Bible says, Acts chapter 12, verse 1 says, Herod killed James, brother of John. It's the first martyrdom, the second martyrdom. After who? Stephen. Okay? So, as a, as a member of Disciple of Jesus, James was the first to murder them. Okay, in Acts chapter 12, 1, 2. Who killed it? The Herod Agrippa, we call it first. They put the Agrippa here. Agrippa first. Now, who was in charge of the almost the entire, including Jerusalem and Judea and all the territory of Israel? Agrippa, Herod Agrippa I, who is the son of Herod the Great. Are you with me? Okay, now, and third 
Ag- Ag- uh, Herod is, it's, it's Agrippa first is son. Herod, Agrippa second. Okay. This Herod Agrippa II is the grandson of the Herod the Great. Okay. He was governing, okay, in, in the, it's a Galilee here, Galilee. It's a northern park near the Galilee in this area. This grandson, Herod Agrippa II. But now, here we're talking about this Agrippa. Okay. This Agrippa, is the grandson, Herod Agrippa II. Are you, okay? Grandson, we're talking about this, this grandson. Grandson now is in, 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 in appearance, okay? Along with Paul's presence in Caesarea. I hope you understand this. System. Got it? Now, now, Paul, now, yeah, uh, now, where, where is Paul now? He is in Caesarea, okay? He, he, uh, he settled there for two years, but after two years, uh, from the moment that Paul arrived. Remember that? Paul arrived. Okay. Right after Paul arrived and two years after, okay, that Governor Felix resigned. Governor Felix resigned. So that two years indicates us that Paul stationed in the city of Caesarea for two years. That, that we will, we will see that later. Now, and Felix resigned and his successor, new governor, successor Festus appointed. Festus, okay? So now we have a new name, Festus, governor. Governor in the Caesarea, stationed in Caesarea, but governing Jerusalem and Judea, all this area, southern part of that. Now, now, after three days is appointment, Festus appointment, okay, to, to celebrate, to give a celebration, a Herod Agrippa II, who, who governed where? In the northern part, okay, in Galilee area, okay, northern part, visited. He came to where? What city? Caesarea. Okay, we will discuss it later. Okay, now. Festus, okay, so Festus was appointed three days after his appointment. Okay, now let me, let me say Festus, he went to Jerusalem. Festus went to Jerusalem three days after his appointment in Caesarea. Okay, to meet the Jewish leaders, because in Jerusalem, always, okay, that is a procedure. So, Festus went to Jerusalem from Caesarea to Jewish leaders, okay, and Jewish leaders, upon meeting Festus, requesting immediately, says, Sir, would you send Paul in Caesarea? To, to us, Jerusalem, because he's a bad guy. Now, Felix was in favor of what? Previous, previous governor, he, he liked Paul, and he, uh, we assume that he became, along with his wife, became a Christian. Okay, now, new governor, point. Now, these Jewish leaders asked the new governor, Festus, now it's time for requesting you, Governor Festus, would you send Paul to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem, to us? Because 
It was their plan. On the way to Jerusalem, they were going to kill Paul. That was their design, plot. So Festus, this Festus was told, he was told by some of his, his inner colleague that that was plan. Okay? The Jewish leader did not know the Festus knew about it. Anyway, Festus denied it. No, I don't want to send Paul to you guys. Okay? And then you should come to uh, Caesarea. And if Paul is guilty, then you come to Caesarea and you officially, legally sue them before me. So I can take care of that matter. Just like Felix before. Okay? So now, 10 days after Festus came back to Caesarea, okay, from Jerusalem. And Festus opened a legal court. He was a judge sitting on the judgment seat. Uh, okay. Then asking Paul, you come over. You, you, you sit right there. Okay. Then Paul began to defend his innocence. Ask Phenesis, a governor, Governor, would you send me to Emperor Caesar okay, in Rome? Because I want to be officially declared as an innocent man. Okay. Festus say, okay, I will send you to Rome. That is Acts chapter 25, verses 1 and 12. In this situation, new, new person appears. New person. That is King Agrippa. King Agrippa II. Okay, and King Agrippa II, to, in order to celebrate a Festus appointment, okay, they traveled from the northern part of Galilee area, which their territory, okay, and visited to Caesarea. Caesarea. A few days later, King Agrippa, Galilee region, and his younger sister, Bernice, one year difference. Bernice visited Festus in Caesarea. Here in Acts 25, 13 said, Are you following me? Okay. Now, Festus, who is Festus? Governor, new governor. Okay. New governor told them about Paul. Okay. And Jewish leader, and told them Jewish leaders has a special plot to kill Paul. That story. And this Festus told who? King Agrippa. And, and this Agrippa told Festus that I want to see that gentleman Paul. Okay? And I want to hear about his religion. New religion. That was a God's inspiration because later Paul testified to Jesus before that Agrippa. And Festus, we assume that these people all became a Christian out of Paul's ministries. So this Agrippa invited Chief captains, Roman captains, city and that city's high officers, and even his wife, Venice, and Paul, all together to the court, to the big room, all together. Okay? To listen to message from who? Paul. Got it? So, then this 
Agrippa said, let us hear what Paul would defend himself. You see, this is a God's plan. Because Paul did not ask them uh, to do this, but it was a God's plan set. What was the God's plan? To, 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 to evangelize high officers. Okay. Already, Felix became a Christian. Now time for Festus and his wife, and even time for Agrippa II and his, wife, his sister, Bernice. It was God's perfect plan to set up this stage like that. When Paul was ready to okay, present the gospel of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. Now, Agrippa, who is Agrippa? The Agrippa II, Herod, the great grandson who, who, who was in charge of that northern part of Galilee area. Okay. Agrippa, you know, I, I would say Agrippa was superior then in terms of position, okay, on authority, superior then who? Festus. Okay. That is our assumption, okay, that Agrippa took the leadership, okay, in this, in these circumstances right here. Agrippa allowed Paul to defend himself. Acts 26 verse 1 said. Now, it, Acts 26 is the, Paul's defend the history. Before who? Before Agrippa and and who? Festus, chief captains, city high officers, his sister, all these high ranking people. Okay. God set the stage for them to listen to Paul's message. So Acts chapter 26 describes the long story of Paul's message. Okay, Paul started from his background. Okay, he said, I am, I was religious Pharisees. I, my background is the tribe, you know, background is what? The set of Pharisees. Okay, and I was very religious Pharisees man. These people, audiences are listening to. His testimony. However, I was very leading, top leader opposing to Christian religion. Even killing who? Stephen. And dispersing the church of Jerusalem. So I was a top opponent to Christian religion. As a matter of fact, everybody listening to that. I was going to persecute those Christians in Damascus uh, with the, the high priest authority. I was uh, near the Damascus. All of a sudden, Jesus of Nazareth appeared to me. I became a blind, and I opened my eyes later, and I realized that that Jesus is a true God of Israel. That was his presentation. He said, Jesus is God and Savior who died on the cross and resurrected for our sins. That was his presentation. Spirit filled message, okay, presented by whom? Paul. Before all these top leaders, okay. He said, because of my new religion, these Jewish people are trying to kill me. He said that in Acts 26, verses 2 and 23. It's a long story. And all of a sudden, this Festus, not Agrippa, okay, the governor, he, he was very mad at 
Paul's presentation. You must be, you must be insane. Insane means you must be, you lost your mind. Your mentality, you must be insane means that, okay? You are not, your, your mentality is not sound. Huh? You must be, you have, must have some, some kind of uh, mental problems. Like that, that insane means. You are out of mind. You are insane. This man, Kephistus. And Paul said this, I am not insane. <laughs> he said that. Okay. I am not insane. What I am saying is true and reasonable. Bible said, what I'm saying is true and reasonable, he said. And Paul directed to King Agrippa. He said, King Agrippa, do you believe prophets? What a brave man. Okay. Agrippa, because Paul knew that Agrippa is superior than Festus, could say, Paul's, uh, Paul's focus, Paul focused on Agrippa. And then Agrippa answered to Paul, say, do you think such a long, a short time out of your presentation, you want me, you persuade me to be a Christian? You see, what a development. Okay, because he knew that Agrippa knew that, and he sensed that this young man, this man tried to persuade me, okay, toward Christian religion. He okay. it, said, it's too short. You just gave me the short presentation. How could I be a eh? Christian giving up my religion? And Paul replied back to him, I pray all of you may become Christian, he said. You see? I pray all of you may become Christian. And they, they means all of these people, okay? They did not say any. They left that courtroom. And they gathered together inside of a small room, okay? beside the courtroom, and they discussed what Paul said. Huh? They discussed, they reviewed what Paul presented, presented, okay? Then conclusion comes. They all said, the Bible said that Paul is innocent. <laughs> he said that. They all concluded that Paul is not guilty. He is innocent. Agrippa and Festus, all the government officers, okay, all said, come to an agreement that he is innocent man. No need for giving persecution toward him. So Agrippa told Festus, the king Agrippa, high up. He told Festus that, send Paul to Emperor Caesar. Okay? Since he wants to be. Since he requested that he wants to stand before Emperor Caesar, why not let us send him to Rome? That Festus said, okay. The governor said, okay, I will do it. So that was the, their formal decision. Okay. The next lesson will be, next lesson will be Paul and his colleagues will depart from, depart Caesarea toward where? Rome. That's the story recorded right here in Acts 23, 33, all the way to chapter 26, 
32. That is, I call the completion of two years Caesarea ministry. Completion of two years Caesarea ministry. Okay? So it was not just a, uh, you know, just a meaningless ministry, meaningless travel. It was God's perfect design hidden inside of that trip of two years. So God's perfect time, okay, with his perfect, uh, perfect plan realized, okay, evangelizing those chosen top Jewish people and Jewish lay people and government people, Roman soldiers, Roman centurions, and Roman commanders, okay, even uh, the governors, two governors, and over the king in the northern part, everybody came to the Lord Jesus out of Paul's ministry. Isn't it wonderful? I hope you you understand all this and practice all these principles into your life. May God bless all of you. Amen.